And for more on how the shooting has impacted gun policy at the local level, let's bring in Doreen Christensen from Deerfield Beach, Florida. She's a senior columnist at the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Doreen, welcome. You have worked on a year-long project revolving around this tragedy. You've interviewed 57 people directly impacted by the shooting. Can you tell us some more about your work there? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, my reporting partner, uh, senior photographer Mike Stocker, and I, uh, right after the tragedy, undertook uh, this project called Voices of Change. And uh, we wanted, Mike conceived of the project, he wanted to get closer to the people that suffered through this horrendous tragedy that happened in our community. So we decided to uh, do portraits that morph into video and Basically, we interviewed 57 different people and one dog, <laughs> and uh, we talked to families, victims, people who survived the shooting, uh, many of the people in the Parkland community, and they told us their harrowing, harrowing, sad tales of what happened in classrooms that day when students and teachers died, what happened on the first and th third floors of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in the 1200 building. And uh, there, I'll be honest, there were a lot of tears in front of the camera and behind the camera while we were conducting our interviews. I can imagine. And it must be so hard for you and everyone working on this project to absorb all of those stories. But we thank you for the work you're doing there. Uh, families and friends of Parkland victims have been working in various ways, as you know, to enact change. But can you talk to us specifically about the group Stand with Parkland? Who is in it and what is their mission? Yes, well, many of the many of the 17 families we interviewed for the project talked about this nonprofit that they started called StandWithParkland.org, and basically the 17 families came together and agreed on uh, three point principles for change. They would like to see responsible gun ownership. They want to see more mental health counseling and screening, and they want to see safer schools through the shown through the prism, obviously, of their activism. They don't want people to be divisive on this issue. They want them to come together and find consensus. And that's what their organization is about. And right. that's why they have worked so hard to try to get their message out that that they feel that we can we can make change and we can come to an agreement about the changes that need to be made when it comes to gun violence in America. And as you pointed out, it's not a partisan organization. Doreen Christensen, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. And a quick programming note. Tonight you can stream our CBSN original 39 Days. It takes a look at how Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School mobilized in the days following the shooting. It streams tonight at 8 and 11 Eastern on CBSN and is available anytime on CBSNews.com.